all right guys wes here welcome back to the channel we just got an important update for gta 6 we have a huge release date update to go over and it sounds like the reveal is going to be closer than we all expected rockstar games has made a big acquisition that will affect the future of the gta 6 online mode that you guys are not going to want to miss out now as you know rockstar has kind of gotten themselves in quite a bit of heat recently with the announcement of the red dead redemption re-release on ps4 and nintendo switch but lucky for us that is not stopping the gta 6 hype train that has been chugging along for years at this point and it sounds like we are finally going to be at the end of the rumor season and enter the realm of the official gta 6 news because the other day we just got some new leaks but we also got some official intel from those in charge of the project and at this point all roads lead to a reveal in the very near future and a release date within the next two years i've got a ps5 giveaway running in the pinned comment and also check the video chapters to optimize your viewing experience and without further delay let's go ahead and get started so our first bit of news we have to talk about is regarding a new acquisition that Rockstar just did that will affect the roleplay community as well as the entirety of GTA Online. So according to the Rockstar Games Newswire, they said this and I quote, roleplay community update CFX.re joins Rockstar Games. Today we are proud to announce that CFX.re, the team behind the biggest Rockstar roleplay and creator communities, 5M and Red M are now officially a part of Rockstar Games. Over the past few years, we've watched with excitement as Rockstar's creative community have found new ways to expand the possibilities of Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, particularly through creation of dedicated roleplay servers. And as a way to further support those efforts, we recently expanded our policy on mods to officially include those made by the roleplay creative community. By partnering with CFX.re team, we will help find new ways to support this incredible community and improve the services they provide to their developers and players. And then they said, we look forward to sharing more in the weeks and months ahead. So what does this mean? Well, officially GTA roleplay is now supported by Rockstar Games, which is great. For those of you that watch streamers, that play no pixel and other servers like that gtrp is going to be a mainstay and that has some huge implications for the future of gta online like imagine if we get an official gta 6 roleplay server at the launch of the game that would be absolutely insane now what this initially tells me is that cfx.re the developers behind 5m and red m are going to be able to start working on a 5m client for gta 6 before the game is even out which is incredibly good news now the next bit of news that i'd like to go over and kind of the main thing you guys probably want to hear about is that a recent statement by none other than Strass Zelnick, the CEO of Take-Two Interactive, in regards to the company's earnings and what they expect from the near future. These financial reports are really the only places we've gotten much official GTA 6 information up to this point, and while the scripts are always very carefully written as to not really give anything away, they can only avoid the topic for so long before investors have to be given something more concrete. Investor meetings are really interesting because these companies have to give their funders something to go off of in order to avoid them losing faith or worst case scenario pulling out but since take two interactive knows grand theft auto 6 is the gaming industry's biggest secret they can't just flat out confirm if it's coming out or when to expect from it all take two can do here is kind of give the bare minimum to keep investors happy but like i said the closer we get to the game's reveal date the more specific that the ceo strass zelnick has to be with people paying the bills and that's when things get really exciting so during the recent financial report for take two interactive strauss confirmed that the bookings rose a whopping 20 percent during the quarter that ended on june 30th putting the company at one point two billion which is absolutely insane when you consider how few games take two interactive actually owns take two may be one of the biggest publishers in the industry but they don't really actually release games that often so the fact that they're generating 1.2 billion per quarter is pretty ridiculous granted they do have a massive mobile presence which i think is a big indicator for their future of success but apparently analysts were expecting this number to be slightly better than 1.21 billion but take two reporting 1.2 even on the top of the 20 percent growth is a huge accomplishment especially whenever you consider how much the tech and entertainment industries are currently struggling. Take-Two also confirmed that GTA 5 sold a whopping 5 million copies last quarter, putting the total sales above 185 million, which is completely bonkers. Now, when talking about the future of Take-Two Interactive, Strauss stated this, and I quote, our core business trends remain healthy, and we are reiterating our prior guidance of 5.45 to 5.55 billion in net bookings for fiscal year 2024. Our teams are making excellent progress on our strategic focus areas, including the advancement of our eagerly anticipated development pipeline and capitalizing on revenue driven opportunities and synergies all while maintaining a deep focus on efficiency we remain confident that we are positioning our business for a significant inflection point in fiscal 2025 which we believe will include a new record levels of operating performance we would like to thank our stakeholders for their continued support and we look forward to delivering on this exciting new chapter now while strauss obviously didn't say anything about gta 6 specifically he made it very clear that despite there being a whopping 20 percent growth 
in revenue recently he's expecting a lot more in fiscal year 2025 and there's really only one reason that could be when you look at take two's release schedule now to put this in perspective even more the company's financial report showed a 38 percent increase in consumer spending during the latest fiscal quarter so if strauss is expecting fiscal year 25 to achieve new record levels of operation they must have some huge plans and i think all of us know at this point that this is basically a giant red arrow pointing at fiscal year 25 for gta 6's release date and in case you weren't aware the fiscal year begins on october 1st of 2024 and ends on september 30th of 2025 so we could safely put gta 6's launch somewhere which lines up rather well with previous rumors that we've heard about the game releasing in either late 2024 or early 2025. now some have also been suggesting that the game is going to be a surprise drop in the next year or so but with this new report i think we can completely throw those theories out the window if take two is planning on launching gta 6 before october of next year they absolutely would have said something about fiscal year 2024 being a big deal during this financial report but instead they skipped over fiscal 2024 and went right to bragging about fiscal 25 which i think is a major indication that something should be happening during that time period and not any sooner sorry if you're one of the people holding out hope that gta 6 would shadow drop this year or somehow drop by next summer but now we pretty much have total confirmation that it will be coming between october 24 and september of 2025 which still means that the game is dropping in the very near future assuming the gta 6 drops at the very end of fiscal year 2025 that would put the release date just two years away next month which would seemingly indicate that this official reveal is in the very near future major AAA games usually give one to two years for marketing and according to this report from take two gta 6 is now 25 months away from release meaning the marketing campaign should be starting very soon and remember the game is 25 months away if it comes out at the very very end of fiscal year 2025 if it comes out near the start that means we're only about 14 months away from the game releasing but even if the game comes out in the holiday season of fiscal year 2025 that means we're less than a year and a half away from playing gta 6 which is massive news so no matter how you want to look at this the marketing for gta 6 should be started in the very near future and it will all start with the official gta 6 reveal trailer which i'm absolutely convinced will happen by the end of this year maybe early next year with how open take two has gotten about the supposed release window for gta 6 i'm guessing the reveal is right around the corner and if i had to put a date on it i would say that it's going to happen during the holiday season after the rest of 2023's big releases probably in november december or sometime next year early shifting gears from the release window there are also some other pieces of gta 6 intel to come out recently and while they're not from sources nearly as official as take two interactive themselves i still think they're worth discussing now according to some gaming insiders rockstar has completely overhauled the comp system for gta 6 and the new game will feature law enforcement in a brand new way from previous titles gta 6's cops will be much smarter than previous games especially in their tactics just for taking you down instead of just kind of randomly spawning near the scene of the crime they'll have to drive over to you from the nearest police station but that also means that they're going to cut off escape routes and create a perimeter making it much harder to escape them if you don't flee the scene before they get to you they'll also reportedly give you a chance to surrender before going in guns blazing which i think is a nice touch of realism but it's a little unclear just how that's going to affect gameplay because obviously some players are just not going to surrender to cops in a gta game unless there's a good incentive to do so cops are also reportedly going to take note of the vehicle you were last seen driving meaning if you're trying to escape them you'll have to find a new vehicle without anyone seeing you and then escape the area without any cops seeing you in that new vehicle so they don't update their report and start hunting down that car as well so not only are cops going to be looking out for the player but they'll also be looking out for vehicles associated with the player which also makes it much harder to escape the law enforcement once they're on your tail this will seemingly tie back into the fact that cops now have to drive to your location from the police station instead of just spawning in so even though it's going to be much harder to lose them you'll also have to have a little bit of extra time to flee before they inevitably surround you another piece of insider information that come out recently was in regards to the gta 6 map which may end up being a lot more advanced than we were all expecting it to be we know this game is going to feature a pretty huge play area and have some pretty active npc schedules but according to some recent leaks gta 6 is going to feature a map that changes and adapts depending on the player's actions and where they are in the story this could mean a few things but the most common theories suggest that as time goes on in the story the architecture of certain buildings will change modifications will be made to the roads and the map will generally feel more real as opposed to a static playground like most open world games this could be a pretty amazing feature if done correctly and it will likely have a huge impact on how the player experiences the story and gets attached to the world itself but what do you guys think about all this new information do you think the speculation about a reveal and release date for gta 6 are on the money or do you think we need a bit more intel before we can make that 
that call. Guys, do me a favor. If you've enjoyed my coverage of GTA 6, like the video, subscribe to the channel with your notifications turned on. Don't forget to enter the PS5 giveaway for 130,000 subscribers. And until next time, this has been Wes, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.